Hi, it's Rhonda White from HerChristianHome.com and today is day five of our home organization series. Today's topic is keeping it organized. Okay, we just previously tackled the family room. So today is going to be an easy day. Are you ready for some fun? If you have anything left to finish in the family room, that's what we covered the previous day, go ahead and do that now. So pick up any mess your family has made in the last 24 hours. Remember, we want to make uh, daily time to do that for our family room. Run the vacuum in your clean new va uh, family room, straighten a pillow or two, or if you already have this done, then just stand back and admire how amazing it looks. Why not reward yourself for your determination with a little change of scenery and do a little shopping? Sounds some fun, right? So um, head to a superstore, an office supply store, or your favorite storage specialty store, wherever you love to shop. Even Dollar Tree is fun to, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, that's fun to go shop there um, to see what kind of baskets they have. Sometimes they have different colors. Uh, buy a label maker, which is great for keeping an organized home. If a label maker is not your thing, consider buying some nice sticker-based labels. So it can be whatever works for you. A label maker is really nice to have, though, and looks very professional if you like things to look really upscale. Also consider purchasing labels for organizing pantries and kitchen products. And I'll put the link to this product below. I love these um, stickers here that you can stick on and you can write on the label. And I use that in my kitchen. Um, I make some of my homemade products, um, for instance, laundry soap. And I also put these on that, on the containers. So these are very handy. And um, I think you'll really like they're, they're cute as well as being handy. So, you plan to stay organized, right? The process of discreetly labeling boxes and other containers can help you both remember what is in them and make it easier and faster to replace that item properly. At the store, you can browse nice storage tubs, pretty file folders, and unique baskets. They don't have to be expensive to be effective. Choosing your favorite colors or designs can help you get excited and motivated to get yourself totally organized. It's sort of like an incentive to keep yourself going and to get the job done because you're going to get to use these new organizing products. If you can afford it, buy several. We have 24 more 25, excuse me, more days of organizing to get to and a lot of rooms and drawers and shelves to get organized. I do want to put a word of caution in here, however. Um, over the, over the, the uh, last couple years, I've noticed that buying more organizing baskets is not the answer to getting organized. Yes, they're good to have, but only for what you need. So don't just go out there and mindlessly start buying, buying a whole bunch of products. The first thing you do when you go in a room is declutter and downsize and be really strict about it. I have found that the last year or so when I started uh, minimizing my clutter, and also my stuff and realizing, hey, I only need one of these things. I don't need two of this item. When I've really been downsizing a lot, I've actually had some extra storage baskets that I no longer needed. So our goal here is not to try to keep all of our stuff and just buy more containers, but to downsize first and then buy what we need. So. Yes, go ahead and buy some that if you don't have any and if they're on sale. But just take note that you may not need as many as you think you're going to need. 
So just try to be wise on that. If you already have some baskets, again, you're probably going to be just fine. So I want to end today with this little quote here. Contentment is a happy place between too little and too much. Okay? Um, it's kind of hard when you don't have what you need, if you're insufficient on, on what you need. It's just as hard, if not harder, when you have too much stuff because you can't find what you're looking for because you have so much stuff. So we need a happy balance. Each room that we organize, um, the next year when I go through my stuff again, it's my goal every time to downsize just a little bit more. I try to ask myself, do I really need this? Have I really used it frequently? And if I have several of each items, uh, similar items, then I may pick which one's my favorite, which one am I always grabbing. Maybe I'm always grabbing the same one and I'm, and I'm neglecting the other two. Well, then I need to throw those two away or, or not particularly throw them away, but maybe give them to a friend, maybe donate them to the thrift store. But um, it also makes life a little bit easier because each year it's just a little bit faster to get reorganized and go through my clutter because I have less and less uh, stuff. And so I want to motivate you to do that as well, uh, to try to declutter and be very strict about that. Um, go have fun so, uh, doing some shopping, some change of scenery today. Another thing you might want to consider, though, before going out is shopping online. I love to shop online um, for price comparison shopping. And if you live in a small town, that's another reason I love shopping online. Because we don't have a lot available here as far as choices and choices of stores to go to. So those are some things I'm going to leave with you today. Um, I hope that I've inspired you to try to declutter a little bit. I will talk with you later. Thank you and God bless.